So, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're in a slightly different setting this time rather than on a bike. We're actually in my office. We're all still, unfortunately, locked down in the UK. Um, no real idea when that's going to end. Uh, and I have no legitimate reason to go out on the bike today, to be honest with you. So, I thought what I would do is just give a bit of an update video. I've made a few uh, upgrades uh, over the last couple of days. Just to take that back a bit, when I started the channel, my, my original intention, if you watched my intro video, was just to sort of document my my track days and getting back up to riding bikes again after 15 years off. So I literally, the, all the videos you've seen of mine up to this point have just been filmed using one GoPro 8. Um, so I bought one GoPro 8 initially and I said that I wouldn't, you know, my initial instinct was to go out and buy a MacBook Pro and Final Cut and three GoPros and you know, all sorts of other point and shoot cameras and all that kind of stuff. But I thought, you know, if it doesn't work out or if I don't want to carry on doing it or I don't have time or whatever, then it's just a waste. So I started off with one GoPro and set little goals. And unbelievably, after just less than, well, about a month really uh, of making videos, I hit 100, 100 subscribers of the day. So that was the first goal. So what I said to myself after, at 100 subscribers was I'd buy um, another GoPro. Um, because what I've been doing up to this point is kind of attaching the GoPro to either the helmet or the fairing or wherever, ride a bit, stop, change the GoPro. It's a bit of a ball ache. Um, so I've bought another GoPro now. It was supposed to be here, but unfortunately Amazon uh, said it was delivered, but it isn't, so you've got an empty box. But I do now have two GoPros. Uh, but one other thing that I upgraded as well was I'm trying to figure out the best way to do audio. So I've bought one of these of which uh, I've already unboxed it actually. Um, I'm gonna talk you through that in a second. So my issue has been with audio. I've currently been using one of these. This is a 25 pounds Purple Panda wireless lav mic. And I sort of fed it into the helmet and put it in there. And to be honest with you, the audio quality is decent. It's plenty good enough for what you need. Um, but the issue is on UK track days, they won't allow helmet my uh, helmet cameras or cameras on the tank so the next best thing that you can have is to have um your uh ha your camera mounted on your headstock pointing through your windscreen but then that means that you've got you know a big silly wire trailing across the bike and to be honest with you i'm not even sure that the marshals if they saw that would allow it I'm pretty sure you'd get pulled off and made to take that off. So I've been trying to figure out a way to get audio whilst on track so I can sort of commentate over the track days because it's just boring just watching somebody drive around a track. There's hundreds of videos like that. And what I'm trying to do at the point of this channel is to, to sort of put you inside my head a bit. You know, first track day back on after 15 years. What does it feel like? You know, how much am I shitting myself? You know, what does it sound like when I go skidding down the road on my ass? All that kind of stuff. So if I haven't got audio, it's a bit pointless. So I've been trying to figure out a way to get wireless audio. And there's a few things that I came across. One was just to get uh, a separate audio recorder, like a Zoom H1N, and sync that up. Um, but that, again, just felt like a bit of a ball ache. You still got the issue of having a wire. So I came across this. Um, this is a wireless Go system. Um, and I thought I'd give that a try and see what that did. So I'll do a sound comparison in a minute, but essentially in the box, I did an unboxing video. Now, just, just as a disclaimer on this, if you're coming here for an expert review or a how-to video or anything like that, you are in the way wrong place. I am uh, about as technical and DIY savvy as uh, a monkey. You know, I'm, I'm, I like to think of myself as a reasonably intelligent person, but as soon as it comes to doing anything DIY or technical, I can actually feel myself starting to dribble down my own face and I break things, which is why the unboxing video isn't an unboxing video. So I couldn't even unbox it without ripping it. That's how bad I am. But anyway, onwards. So what you get in the box is a little carrying pouch. You get two USB-C cables, one for the transmitter, also the receiver here. So this is the receiver and this is a transmitter. And then you get a um, uh, 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 three point five mil audio jack and two of these dead rats, dead cats, whatever they are, wind protection things. I don't know. And all you simply do is just turn on the receiver, turn on the transmitter, 
And then, well, you can see actually, it's picking my voice up already. Uh, they were sort of automatically paired. I didn't need to do anything. I literally just turned them on. And then the other thing that I've got as well, because I've got a Hero 8, I've got a media mod. And the beauty about these is, you actually have a 3.5 mil jack socket, sorry, there. So you can literally plug in this in here. This is a bit hard to do one-handed. I really should invest in some sort of mount. Plug this into here, like so. And then with the medium mod, you can just you can just clip that on the top there like that. There's a little there's another one of these to to put that on there, and then you've got wireless audio, um, which is pretty cool actually. So that solves the problem of being on track because you can then put this and mount this on your bike anywhere, and you still get audio picked up. So I'm going to do a test in a minute, but the challenge has been. And I've sort of tried this already because in the interest of not making this a seven hour video. The challenge is where to put the microphone. Because there's room for it here. There's room for it there, just. But you can't put the helmet on and off while that's in, unfortunately. So there's two options and I've had to do this before. I tried Velcro and that wasn't good enough. So these are, uh, you know the command strips that you can sort of hang pictures up and um, mirrors and all that shit. Well, I've chopped one of those down, put the other half in here, um, and these are really strong. So you can put the helmet on and then just literally attach that. And that's actually really secure. That's not gonna come out unless you pull it out like that. So that's one way of doing it. So you can either put that in and then plug your, um, and then away you go. Or the other way that you could do it is you could still use the lav mic, put that in there and hide the wires. I hide the wires up here inside. You can put the lav mic in there and then you can clip this onto the chin, inside of the chin strap or something. Just depends on how you want to do it. I'm going to try it like this for a while. So we'll do a bit of a sound test now with it clipped in there and see what it sounds like, see if that's any good. So, uh, hang on. So, what you're hearing now, or should be hearing now, if that's picking it up, yeah, which it is, is audio from this, this is the receiver. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put this in the helmet first without the dead rat, dead cat, whatever. And see what it sounds like. Okay, so that's, that's in the helmet, it's not uncomfortable, it's not annoying. Um, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, how's that sound? Any better? Right, let me try it with the dead rat. Right, that's a little bit tickly, but it's not too bad. So how's that sound? Is that any better? One, two, one, two, one, two. Testing. <laughs> All right. So that's the audio with um, the uh, the Rode Wireless Go mic actually inside the helmet. Like I said, now the other option is to use the Purple Panda mic and strap it to the uh, chin strap. Just depends on if it gets annoying inside the mic here. So let's give that one a try as well. Right, so I've not hit the wire in the helmet, but this is the this is the purple panda mic in here, and I guess what you could do is sort of strap that on the on the uh, chin strap somehow. It's still pretty secure. That's another way of doing it. This purple panda um, mic is actually less irritating inside the helmet, so and this doesn't. I can't feel this on the strap, so. I think that's pretty secure. Yeah, I... I don't know, actually. You put that to the side there. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so, how's that sound? Testing, one, two, one, two. Does that sound any better? So none of these are ideal, to be honest with you, but this, the, capturing the audio bit, unless anyone's got any bright ideas, but I think this wireless go 
specifically for track days. I mean, if I'm just riding around with a camera strapped to my helmet, I'd probably just use this lav mic because it literally just the wires hide inside the helmet and it just clips in onto the uh, into the back here, no problem. But this is specifically just for track days is the solution that I'm trying to figure out with not being able to have the camera uh, on the chin. So I think this is. Um, uh, a reasonable compromise it's not perfect um but i think it's a reasonable compromise so i'm going to give this a go and hopefully the next time we talk about this i'll be on a uh, racetrack and it'll be slightly more interesting so um so yeah so uh thanks for 100 subscribers um i'm actually on 112 now i think so this is going really good um my next goal is to get to uh 500 subscribers when i get to 500 subscribers i'm going to buy a proper uh, point and shoot some sort of DSLR or whatever proper vlogging camera because um, at the minute I'm just doing everything on the GoPro which is obviously not ideal and then when I get to a thousand subscribers if I am ever lucky enough to get there I'm going to buy a MacBook Pro and Final Cut Pro editing software at the minute I'm just doing all my editing on just a basic laptop with um, free editing software open shot is called to be fair it's pretty good but i can't edit 4k on this laptop for example because it just won't handle it 2.7k is fine just about um so yeah so look quick update video this is my audio upgrade hopefully this will work there will be two gopros on the channel now so i might be able to get um film my videos a bit easier and uh, yeah onwards to 500 subscribers thanks very much cheers I'm seeing